Hello, little hawks. It's so good to see you. Today, I'm going to be showing you our brand new music website. And I'm really excited about this because there's information for your guardians, there's information for your community, our community, and then there's a special website section just for you. There are grade level instructions. And then there's also a space for you to go that's just to explore our music room. I've made a virtual music room for you. So let's get started. Welcome to your new music website. This is so exciting. When you get to the home page, this is the information for your guardians and our community. And it just has some general information about why music's important, how it supports students academically, socially, and emotionally, some statistics that go with it, and then some information about me. The next thing I want to look at is this section that says grade level. I'm gonna pretend that I'm a second grader. If I'm a second grader, I'm gonna click on grade level and then I get to choose my grade. I'm gonna click on second grade and it takes me to the second grade music page. It takes you through the lessons step by step. So all you have to do is scroll. So it says step one, choose a warm up. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do some rhythmic singing today. So I click on the video and it starts playing. If I wanna make it full screen, I click full screen. And then I can watch that video, super fun. When that video's over, I go to step two, choose a song to sing with me. There are two songs for you to choose right now, Ni Hao Jambo and De Colores. I'm gonna click on De Colores today. And again, I can watch this here or I can make it full screen. Step three, choose a music book to enjoy. You get to click on any one of these books in our new music library, and it'll take you to a video where there's a read aloud for it. So I'm gonna click on this book called Sing a Song. And then I get to watch someone read the book aloud to me. To go back to the page I was just at, I go to the top of my browser, and I can see Little Hawk Music here on the left. I'm gonna click on that, and now I'm back to where I was. I just finished step three, so now I have to go to step four, choose a movement activity. If you like doing Zumba with me, you can do one of my Zumba videos. If you like doing Zumba with the Go Noodle videos, you can click here. So if I click this, it stays on the site. If I click this, it takes me to all of the Zumba videos on Go Noodle. And then I can choose one and do it there. Again, when I'm done with this, I go back to the music room page. So now I scroll down again, and here is step five. This is the piece that's going to change every week that has your music focus. You've done this song before in a previous week, but this week I really want you to focus on matching pitch with me when I'm singing Hey No, Hey No. It's the smiley face drawing song. And then when you've done that, I want you to, to describe or demonstrate with somebody what it means to match pitch with someone else in your house. If someone sings, hey no and i sing hey no that's not matching pitch that's singing two different notes so you need to be able to describe that to someone else so that's step five and again to watch the video i just press play and then i can watch the video if i want to make it full screen i can make it full screen number six we're almost done you get to choose an activity to make more music there are three choices there's making music with household objects with me you can play with the drummers from Blue Thunder. Those are the drummers that play at Seahawks game. Or you can play drums on a bucket that's, you know, like the red one I have in this picture here, or a big one that you might see carrying paint and drumsticks. But you don't need drumsticks. You can use pencils or whatever. And there's a whole bunch of videos here. If I click play, it plays the first one. And you can play along. Once you're done doing one of those, you sing a closing song. Little Hawk song is a classic, always a good choice. Count on me is our end of year song, so that is the other one you can choose. And after you've done that, you're done. But let's say you forgot to come for a week. Well, here are the lesson focuses for previous weeks. So you can check here if you missed out on a week because you went camping or something. So that's your actual lesson. I'm just scrolling back up now. Next to grade level, is this virtual music room. If I click on that, it takes me to our virtual music room. Does everyone see our music room? The message here says, hello, little hawks, and welcome to the digital music room. Hover your cursor over each image or word to choose different activities. For more specific activities, visit the other pages. We even have a music library. Love and miss you all, Mrs. Harold. So your cursor is this little arrow. Do you see the arrow? 
hovering over stuff. Yeah, that's your cursor. So if I put it over the TV where it says Mrs. Harold's YouTube channel and I click on it, it takes me to the Mrs. Harold YouTube page. Now, if I wanna go back again, I use my cursor and I go up and I click on the music classroom page. Let's say though, I really want to do something on the computer. Well, if I click on the computer, it takes me to our Little Hawks music blog and it shows me all the activities for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth graders on the laptops. And then down here a little bit further, it shows me activities for kinders, first graders, and second graders. And it's separated into movement websites, read aloud, so lots of choices. And then I just went back to the music page. So I have to go back down here. So I just clicked on the screen and all this other stuff came up. If I make this full screen, you see now how it's changed. And this is actually a Google Slides presentation. So if you hover your cursor here, you can actually change. So this is what shows at the front. And this is what the second slide is. It just labels everything for you. After this, if I click next again, it takes me to the primary music section. So let's say I want to review what rhythms are. It takes me to a video where I review how to say the rhythms. Super helpful. There's so much more to do in this room, though. You can click on the world map to learn about more world music. You can sing and draw with me at Arakaki Uta. You can explore elements of music with music, Chrome Music Lab. This is a great site. I'll just show you really quick. Look at all these games. These games are so fun. I'm just going to do this one really quick. You literally draw lines or shapes and it turns into music and then you change it and i press play so that one's really fun and again i'm just going to go back to the music room so we can keep looking at stuff click full screen maybe i'm not a second grader maybe i'm a fifth grader and i want some extra music activities i click next one more time and then we have our intermediate music side of the side of the music room and so I have, again, my world map, but then I also have my computer out with flat on it, that notation program. And it then, if I click on that, it takes me to a tutorial on how to use flat. I'm just gonna go back to the music room now. All these things are super fun. This is your music room all together. But if you want, want something specific, you know I wanna go specifically to the music library. If you scroll down, when we're back on this music room, virtual music room page, Scroll beyond the classroom and you'll see the resource, the resources specifically laid out for you. So here's the music library. You can click on any of the books here to go have a read aloud. Here's the primary music room. So you can click on anything here to do any of these activities. And here's the intermediate music room. Again, you can click anything. The other resource I want to point out is this world music map from another music teacher named Ms. Schmidt. If I click on the words at the bottom, it takes me to our world map. Well, I want to learn about music from Mexico today. So then I can listen to this music from Mexico. I can see where it is on the map. And when I'm done, if I want to go back to the world map, I click on the globe and I go back to the world map. Now I left the website for a sec. So again, I have to go back and click on the music room to get back to where I was. If you want to listen to some really good free music, these musicians from the Chamber Music Society are great. I highly recommend their free concerts. And lastly, we are focusing on Lift Every Voice and Sing throughout our school this week. So you can listen to the song here. We listened to it on Monday. And then you can also learn about the history of the song here. These are just some of the resources that we're using. The other thing that I want to point out before we're done with this page is that there's this music is important section. Music belongs in our schools. Music heals, inspires, nurtures, and challenges us in profound ways. All students benefit from music making opportunities and music education. And I believe that. That's why I'm your music teacher. So there are some videos here that talk about how music helps your brain. It improves brain function and learning music as a language because it is a form of communication. It builds skills that you need in science, in writing, in social environments, and in language. And then there's a really scientific video explaining just how your brain works on music. Music is a high cognitive task. What that means is that you have to use multiple parts of your brain at the same time in order to accomplish a task in order to perform music. And then if that's too much, cause you're like, oh, I'm only a kindergartner. Well, there's a cartoon version of, this, of the same research so you can watch it there. And then here is uh, statements from the National Association for Music Education about why music is important in our schools. And below that we have the statement from NAFNI on supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. Music educators stands with the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. I 
really hope that you enjoy the new resource available to you and that you continue to have conversations with your family about the resources on the website. If you have questions, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about it more. I'm going to leave it up over the summer so you can continue to have access to it over the summer. And if you miss some of the activities during the school year, because again, you weren't camping or something else, you can check out those grade level sections and I will be backlogging lessons from the previous weeks. So you can say, oh, well, I was camping over Memorial Day weekend. Maybe I should go check out the lesson. So you'll be able to do that. All right, friends, that's it for today. I'll see you soon. Bye.